joining me, we have Stephanie Oxford, and she is from the Caldwell County Chamber of Commerce. Thank you so much for being with us today, Stephanie. Well, thanks for having us. We always enjoy coming up here and telling everybody about all the wonderful activities we have going on in Caldwell County. Absolutely. Eventually, we'll get you to do a whole show just on Caldwell County. I think we need to, because <laughs> you guys always have so much going on, and it sounds like this month is no exception. It isn't any exception. We're starting out May with a fabulous event. Uh, we're having the Arts, the Caldwell Arts Council is having their second comedy show in conjunction with their annual fundraiser. It's called April Food and Fools Comedy Club, and oh. it's on May 1st, and we're hosting uh, two comedians, Rick Roberts and Sid Davis, and uh, it's a great opportunity to have a lot of laughs. There's rubber chickens in the audience. It's a lot okay. of fun. We really enjoyed that last year, and also uh, we have wonderful cities all throughout Caldwell County and in Hudson starting in May on the first Friday of each month we have picking on the green there at their windmill park there in Hudson and that's always some great picking and people just come and play and listen and it's a lot of fun there at the windmill park. Um, also the first weekend in May we have our butterfly festival in Hudson. Um, okay. It's an annual event and it's a favorite for many people with the food, the crafts, the vendors, music, uh, lots of things to do with the Butter butterfly festival. Uh, that's a favorite of many to come back year and year again. We have a event each year at the Jones Family Farm. And the Jones Family Farm hosts a spring plow day and they actually take the antique plows horse-drawn plows mm -hmm. and they plow their fields. Now I think that's great that Tony gets the whole community to plow his fields for him on that day. Yeah. But uh, there's picking throughout the grounds, there's food, there's lots of fun going on. Um, it's a great day to kind of be in Happy Valley which is one of the most beautiful places on earth. Um, and then in the evening time they have a barn dance. The family has a century-old barn on their wow. property and at seven o'clock that night uh, they have an old-time barn dance uh, with a collar and it's a lot of fun too so the the barn dance is certainly um, a favorite but May 3rd also has Kathy Matea coming back to our Broy Hill Civic Center. She is a favorite. She comes back every year. and We're so thankful she does. Uh, she's certainly one of the most popular shows that the Civic Center offers. And also with the first, we're still on the first Saturday of May. Say, all of this is right here at the beginning. We haven't even touched the rest of the month. We haven't. It's, it, the first weekend is, is, is crazy, but it is um, uh, the second of our car shows. Okay. Uh, the Lenore Cruisers have their car show the first and third Saturday, I believe, of every month. So May 3rd will be a fabulous car show, and it just grows and grows every year. The a number of amazing, fabulous cars downtown is, is uh, something really to be seen. Um, all makes and models and there's food and vendors and music and it's a lot of fun. That's great. Well, we're going to get down to the end of May now. Okay. That's when my birthday is. So oh, well, there we time. go. Yeah. Well, on May 22nd in Granite Falls, we have the Arts Council is hosting an outdoor concert. And I don't know if you've ever heard of the Silvio Martinot Swing Band, but they are fabulous. Uh, great music, a great time. It'll be a fun concert in downtown Granite Falls right there on the square. Um, it's the Granite Falls concert is also one of the favorites. The Arts Council picks the great bands every time to come there. Um, and then in June, also we have our concert series and our movie series st starting in downtown Lenore. Okay. Um, on our square, we have live music on the Fridays, Friday after 5, and then we also have movies. We have a huge inflatable screen that we put up on the square, and at dusk uh, we play, it's always a PG-13 or G, and uh, we have uh, movies throughout the summer, and we bring our chairs, there's popcorn and f friends, and it's a lot of fun to watch those movies, almost like the outdoor drive-ins. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. But also in June, our museum um, is just um, getting a lot of excitement built around it and all the things that the Caldwell Heritage Museum has to offer. Uh, John Hawkins and Colin have really worked hard to develop the stage. And the stage has recently hosted in the fall um, Thomas Jefferson and Benjamin Franklin um, reenactors, and they provided us with a program. And not too long ago, we had the South Carolina broadcasters on our stage. So we are so excited on June 1st to have Dr. Elliot Engel. He is a renowned author and lecturer. Uh, he has some great Charles Dickens and some Mark Twain stories, but he's actually coming to talk to us about Ava Gardner. He's okay. doing a new, uh, new program on Ava Gardner, A North Carolina Star is Born. Um, so we're going to have that on our John Hawkins Heritage Stage, and uh, we're excited to have Dr. Elliot Engel with us. Okay, There's we're still more. in June. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Throw it at us. We have the fifth annual Pops Ferguson Blues Festival. This grows and grows, and the artists that come from all over to play in our Pops Ferguson Blues Festival is just amazing. It's actually spilled. This will be the second time it's on two days. So the Friday before, we'll actually have some workshops downtown Lenore. Uh, right. Blues harmonica. Uh, I believe he's going to have some country style picking. Uh, there might be, oh, the slide guitar. They're also going to have slide guitar workshops. And then Saturday, there'll be blues music all day long to enjoy. It's, it's a lot of fun. And they're having auditions right now for a uh, presentation they're doing at the uh, Foothills Performing Arts Center in Hudson uh, for, and you have to say this correctly because it won't make sense if you don't, okay. but it's who's under where. It's not who's underwear, it's who's, who's under, under where. where. Okay. <laughs> and that'll be it. starting in June, but they are, uh, July, excuse me, but they are holding auditions now. All right, where did we, oh, and this is our crown jewel, the Blackberry Festival in of July. Of course. We love the Blackberry Festival. It is our 13th one. It has also grown more than one day. So on the Friday before, we'll be having our Blackberry Recipe Contest, also the um, Picking in the Parking Lot uh, Contest that we have. And then Saturday is full of activity, starting with the Blackberry Princess Pageant. Uh, we have um, the Blackberry Eating Contest, the Blackberry Colossal Cobbler parade brigade we have a free blackberry fo uh, cobbler for everybody until we run out okay. uh, but there's plenty uh, so come on down and the same quality vendors and unique artisans that we're known to have there at the festival so the blackberry festival is something that we truly work for all year long and we just want it to be better every year and i think this year will be no different sounds like it and then even when we don't have anything going on that's planned, Lenore and Caldwell County, we're full of greenways, walking parks, blueways. We have golf uh, all over our county, five or six different courses at least. We have farmer's market, and sawmills has a disc course now uh, where you can um, throw, not frisbees, but discs. Right. And uh, so that's a great um, addition to our community. And all of these items can be found on explorecaldwell.com. We um, have them all listed, and each of the listings have links back to their respective websites for additional information and times. And, um, and uh, we always have live music, so come on down. There's always live music going on in some restaurant on some corner somewhere, so always something to do. I tell you what, after talking to you, I think we all want to pack up and move down to Caldwell Come County. Come on down. We'd love so to have you. So much going on. We do. It's a great, our community works so well together and we don't just have this person working on this project and that person working on this project. We have organizations working together. We have mm -hmm. people working together and we just love our community so much. We just want to share it with everybody else. Well, it shows. And speaking of working together, talk with us a little bit more about the Blackberry Festival. This is a huge deal. And as you said, you guys plan all year long for this. We do. We plan it all year long. Libby Killian in the Chamber of Commerce has been working just so diligently uh, on getting quality vendors, mm -hmm. uh, getting... Um, the music set up. There's so much to offer. We um, have a full day of activities on the stage because I didn't even get to the live music that we have <laughs> all afternoon at the Blackberry Festival. So after the um, parade and the free cobblers, our live music starts and we have four or five bands throughout the afternoon uh, playing live on the square as well. And we have the children's um, train that goes through the festival. Um, lots of kids activities. And we have people working diligently to make more children activities available um, throughout the festival uh, rather than just the fabulous inflatables that we have every year. So there's going to be lots of hands-on activities for the children as well. Sounds great. Yeah, we look forward to the Blackberry Festival. Oh, definitely. And lots of good food, it sounds like. Yeah, and Blackberry is big as your thumb, I tell you. you they are humongous and they are delicious. And uh, Lineberger Farms is so kind and generous to donate some of them for us for the Blackberry Cobblers and for the uh, recipe contest so uh, lots of delicious blackberries and blackberry Perfect. wine <laughs> yeah, all the good stuff all the good blackberry yeah. stuff yeah. now talk with us a little more about the butterfly festival coming up this sounds like a great event as well the butterfly festival is held in hudson they're they're on their main street and it's all along the strip uh, that runs uh, adjacent with 321a and it is just lined with just charming vendors mm -hmm. uh, there is live music they have uh, usually a petting zoo. I haven't heard if there's one coming, but it's been there every awesome. year since. Uh, but they just have, it's, it's quaint, it's charming, it's lovely. Um, it's just one of the favorite things to do in Hudson every year. It's, it's a lot of fun. 
That's great. Yeah. And one more thing I want a few extra details about. Talk with us about these outdoor movies. I love it. So retro. They are. They are fabulous. My kids are getting a little bit older, but they'll still come eventually. Uh, uh, occasionally to the movies, but we do have this huge inflatable screen that the city of Lenore was kind enough to invest in, and it, it blows up right there on the stage for us, and the movies are projected from a projector, and uh, we just have the, the best family movies. We bring our chairs. You can bring your blankets, and neighbors are sitting with neighbors, and uh, even if you're a stranger when you get there, you're not a stranger when you leave. Um, there's refreshments you can choose to purchase, uh, but I always bring popcorn and drinks in your little cooler and it's, it's a lovely evening underneath the stars. And if for some reason weather prohibits us from having it outside, we always have use of the lovely Lenore High School Auditorium, uh, so we just move everything over there to the auditorium and we still have a good time together. Sounds great. A rain plan. I a like rain that. plan. It does. It makes me anxious for summer thinking about sitting outside at night and just hanging out. Yeah. Sounds great. Now, is spring and summer a busier time for you guys? Well, it certainly is. Um, with the weather, ju uh, January and February mm -hmm. is a little slower for us, but really we're just all recuperating. We start out in the spring, you can see how busy we are in the spring, and then in the summer I didn't even get to the Happy Valley Fiddlers Convention we have on Labor Day weekend, the uh, Caldwell Arts uh, Sculpture Celebration in September, uh, and then in October, last fall, we literally had three or four events every weekend to wow. participate in the fall. Um, so I'd like to say we're, we're just gearing up. Definitely. Yeah. Sounds like we all need to at least plan a weekend trip to Caldwell County because so much to do. Or move there. Yes, or move there. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming in well, to talk with us. Well, thanks for having us. Of course. And remind us one more time what the website is so it people is. can find out Certainly. More. I hope everybody memorizes it. <laughs> it's explorecaldwell.com. Okay. And there we have an events tab. And each of the events have a link to back to the website uh, where the activity comes from. Sounds great. Well, thank you so much, Stephanie. Thank you. Absolutely. And we will be back right after these messages with more of the Mountain Television Network.